We're here in the North Yorkshire Moors. We're going to be spending a couple of days riding Africa Twins and Gold Wings. I'm joined by Chad. Now, Chad, you're not Michael, are you? No, sadly. Unfortunately, Michael can't be here, but it's your game because this is my back garden. This is Sledmere. This is right on the edge of the North Yorkshire Moors. So day one, we're going to take the Africa Twins up into the Moors, some challenging roads, a little bit of off-road and some nice fast open sweepers. Day two, we'll take the wings. Again, we'll go on some nice nagery roads because the wings are more than capable of doing. And then we'll drop down onto the seafront at Scarborough, turn up the music, and I'll treat you to a fish and chip at the end of the day. I've heard about the fish and chips. And we're going to get a chance to use the DCT both on and off-road. Both bikes, we can use DCT on and off-road, and we'll have a little bit of traffic, but both bikes have got more than enough power for quick overtakes. It's going to be a good few days. Brilliant. Looking forward to it. Welcome to Yorkshire. Thank you. So Chad, in the day one, we've been out on the Africa Twins. I've had a brilliant day, some real good mix of roads. How have you found them? Yeah, I've really enjoyed it because the mixture of roads, you know, off-road, on-road, winding open, flowing stuff, and some real nagery stuff over cattle grids where you've got to be a bit cautious and rely on the rider aids that are now got, you know, the lean traction control and the lean uh, ABS. On off-road, it's really interesting to ride the two and find that the semi-active suspension changes when you go on top road. So it's a lot easier. And, Yourself, how have you found it? Yeah, brilliant. I've not got as much off-road experience as you, so using the different modes and you know switching into gravel or off-road when we went on those tracks gave me a lot more confidence because I knew when I, when I pushed on the throttle it wasn't going to whip me off. So I was able to keep up a little bit more. So I've really enjoyed it. It gave me a lot more confidence. Tomorrow is Goldwing Day. What have you got in store? We've got, well, it's a beautiful background. I mean, we can go anywhere. So we're going to incorporate some nice nagery stuff because the wings will take that. And then we've got some nice big open flowing. And then we're going to end up on the Scarborough Seafront We'll ride along, get the tunes playing, look good. Brilliant. As long as you don't play Spice Girls again. I've got now 11 ready to go. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> We're at the end of day two, riding around the North Yorkshire Moors on a Goldwing and Goldwing tour. Chad, what are your thoughts? Uh, it's my back garden, and I don't think I've ever ridden Yorkshire in such comfort. So I've been on the standard bike, which is a little bit lighter. Electric screen, no need for a clutch, DCT, just sit back and relax. Cruise control, I've got connectivity, so if I want to put in my tunes, I can do, and read text messages. But to be honest, I just like to just sit back, chill out, no gear changes, and just enjoy it. It's quite nice that you can change the rider mode that changes the suspension and changes when it changes gear. And I love to see how the front forks move underneath the clocks. Yeah, like it's that. a bit addictive when you're riding yeah. a really bumpy road and, and they're moving like crazy, but you're in perfect you comfort. You can see how quickly it's working, but actually you're just gliding yeah, along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a swan swimming. Yeah. Feet underneath going crazy, gliding on the top. And the power, how'd you find the power? I found coming up some of those heels and that, it's just so easy just to blip up and, and get past them. It's so easy to blip up, and if you want to do an overtake or you're going up a steep hill, you can flick to sport, and then it'll automatically change down gears for you. Yeah. So it's dead easy. I mean. It's got so much torque, it'll uproot trees. It's dead easy. Yeah, and then when you want to wind down and just cruise along, 
Again, it's so smooth, comfortable. Yeah, 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 comfortable. And in this heat, it's been nice to drop the screen. You get the breeze. And then when you get going a bit quicker, up with the electric screen, get a bit protective well, I've had as well. that extra air vent on here, which has been really useful, actually, going through today. Yeah, 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 today, yeah, yeah, yeah. So how have you enjoyed Yorkshire? Yeah, brilliant. Beautiful roads, amazing, amazing scenery, amazing roads, you know. Um, I think it's great just to uh, have that mix from like the hilly bits up and down and yeah. then we've had a couple of good straight bits where you can really kind of open up a little bit and enjoy the bike a little bit more. Yeah, the, the weather's been great as well. The benefit here is you can go from the coastline here at Scarborough, you can go to fast stuff, Nadjury stuff, beautiful deals where you're out in the middle of nowhere. You've got a real combination in a short area as well. You don't have to do a huge amount of miles to experience four or five different roads. Yeah, brilliant. So I've had a really enjoyable day, you? Yeah, just time for a fish and chip, seafront, job done. Perfect, brilliant.